Yeah, in Generation Z, how can we develop spirituality with the change in culture? This is a beautiful question. Now, on 18th November 2018, I was at Harvard University. And I talked to them about SQ, the concept of spiritual quotient. How the modern science has proved that neurologically, physiologically, biologically, psychologically, from every point of view, there is conflicting evidence, there is SQ. They are very much excited about SQ. It was a new concept for them. But then they came with the idea that how can you develop this SQ? It is a spatial priority of a, of, a, of a human being. No other species got SQ. They cannot develop SQ. Only human beings can have developed SQ. IQ is available with all these species, including computers. EQ is also available with the few species. But SQ is available only with human beings. How they develop this SQ? And this is what the modern science is trying to now find out how to develop SQ. What are the parameters of the SQ that also they have told? As I told you, unselfishness, purity, uh, mind control, anger control, emotional, this one. And uh, most importantly, the purpose of life. That, that, that all the parameters are there. How to get it? That they are working. But the reply was given by Swami Vivekan 100 years back, 125 years back. He says in his book on Raj Yoga, the whole gist of Vedanta, each soul is potentially divine. The goal of human life is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature external and internal. Do they either by work, worship, psychic control or philosophy, by one or more or all of these and be free. This is the whole of religion. Doctrines, dogmas, rituals, temples, churches, mosques are but secondary details. So these are the four yogas. Raj Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Gyan Yoga, Karma Yoga. If you practice these four yogas, then gradually you will be able to develop SQ. It's a long run process. It's not a question of one or two days. Every day you have to set apart some time for prayer, that is Bhakti Yoga. Set apart some time for meditation, that is Raj Yoga. Set up some time for, for inspirational reading, that is Gyan Yoga. And whatever work you try to do, try to convert it to worship. I am not teaching uh, students. No, I am worshipping Vidyarthi Narayana. This concept is true. Then work becomes worship. So these practice of these four yogas will lead us to the development of SQ. When the development and the culmination, what happens? When the culmination of development of SQ, what happens? Infinite joy, infinite happiness, infinite bliss, infinite knowledge, eternal life. Such is Ananda. This is what we get. So that is the purpose of life. So when I told this to the students of Harvard University, and I had the privilege of speaking, delivering speech in the same severe hall where Swami Vivekananda kind of delivered his speech in 1894. And uh, I, I felt great privilege. And uh, the students, they asked so many questions. It was one hour talk. It went on for two and a half hours. They wanted practical demonstration. They, when they say, oh, they have devotional songs also and uh, recitation of prayer. When you teach us prayer, then I taught them prayer. Asatoma, Sadgamaya, Sarve Bhavanti Sukhina. They are very happy. So you teach us meditation. So we had meditation session. Then devotional song, Raghupati Raghav Rajaram. Can you imagine? That the students of Harvard University doing Raghupati Raghav Rajaram. <laughs> so we had two and a half hours. And when we came out, we saw there is all snow all around. <laughs> because within two and a half hours, there was a heavy snowfall. Very difficult to cross, but it was full of snow. But we did not come to know. We were so much engrashed and crossed. We did not know that there is a heavy snowfall outside. All the students were so much engrossed in learning about SQ. So this is the way the modern students will come. The Z generation. Have, has to be X generation, has to be given in a modern scientific way, then only they will take up. Only if you say because our forefathers said that you should do fasting, no. But if you say what are the advantages of fasting or to the modern science, then they will do fasting. They will not say no. So we have to present to the X generation in the in, in their own language, in the language of the modern science, then they will take up.